welcome back to Twisted Coy. How are we doing out there, cupcakes? And you, Chaz Coy. I see you. Yes, go ahead. Give Chaz Coy a, uh, a check over. Give him a subscribe. Give him a comment. Tell him the Twisted one sent you. I'm sure we'll be well happy for it. Well, it's now about half past nine and we've already been at the forest for uh, a good hour and a half now and my first job today was to give the Twisted Rocket Pond filtration a clean because the pump was surging and boy did it need it did it need it so uh, yeah come uh, come next week when we come in this pond should be absolutely crystal clear so uh, as you can see the spray bar is working properly now the Eric has had a good purge now this thing oh my word it came out browner than that but yep, the jack mat, the brushes. I mean, this is where I was banging off the jack mat. <laughs> yeah, there was lots of shit. My tomatoes are fucking going ape shit. So me to my, my strawberries. We've got flowers, look. It means we're going to get strawberries. So yeah, that's all done and dusted. Rick, Matt and Rocket Boy are over there in the, the up pond over there getting all the, rid of all the brambles and everything else so we can start filling it back up. It turns out that the only uh, failed spawning that Rick had from uh, Tuesday was the Ginshiro which also means that there is 99.9% .9 chance that the, the Shiro Asagi fry that I've got at home is bad as well. Gutted. Fucking gutted. But that's koi keeping. That's koi breeding. But yeah, spray bar's doing really well now. And we have been adding loads of media in, into this. So that hasn't helped, and uh, to be honest, I don't think the uh, the media in the filter actually had a uh, a good clean before we started using it. So but the old planters are starting to do well. You can see where the, the stuff is starting to grow on there instead of in the, in there where we don't want it. So yeah, so I'm going to put you lot down. I'm going to roll a quick fag and then I'm going to go and help Ricky and the boys. Well, we've got this one cleaned and water going in. What's that you've just poured in there, Rick? Sodium hypochlorite. Which is, in layman's terms, very strong bleach. So, will you fill the whole pond with that in now? Uh, yeah, the, the bleach will just disinfect the white, the wet areas. Yeah. Um, and kill off any. Bits and pieces. It's not, it's not so much fish bugs, it's I don't want any Daphnia or anything in there so I could start it from, my way from fresh. So you won't, you won't, you won't flush that out. No, 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 that, that will be gone in 72 hours. So it'll take, oh, yeah, it just bonds with any organics in the pond. Yep, um, yeah, not a problem. That amount in there, yeah, you can put it in, like, say, with. Like the bleach ponds around about. Normally, after 72 hours, you start to get a bit of green tinge to them. Right. So if algae's growing, the bleach is gone. Yeah. Simple. But yeah, there won't be fish going in these for three weeks, four weeks. Depending on what we got, we're just starting to get eyeballs. Just starting to get eyeballs. But so. well, well, while you're while you're talking about eyeballs. You've uh, obviously you've been down at the hatchery today. What are the what is the prognosis on the uh, on the spawnings? We've got 10, uh, 11 ponds of eggs down there. <laughs> One pond's completely duff, which is the smallest. This is a little Ginshiro set. Yep. Um, 
any of them are going to be bad, that's the one I've chosen. It could be bad. Do you think that's the, both the male and the female, or you think it's just the female? Just the female, because I did it with a Ginshiro male, and you did it with an Asagi male. Yeah. I bet yours are bad as well. Uh, quite possibly. I haven't had a look at them this morning. So, yeah, yeah I mean, it's little young fish like that, quite often the case. But another one of the young ones we did look like they're going to be like 90%. Good. So, it swings it's swings on roundabouts, isn't it? Come from, they both came from Koi Wholesale last year. They've both been grown here for the summer. Which which ones were that? Was that the uh... little Dainichi Jinrin shows? Oh, right, yeah. Good. Fingers crossed. So far, at the minute. Cool. Have a brew, and then um, yeah, I've got a whole patch on this one. I don't forget is where patches come off just above water level along, along the floor. Yeah, so before it gets too much water around to get that done. But yeah, cup of tea first. Cup of tea first. So that one brushed out. So we're pretty much there. This is block of four. Block of four. Yeah, they. You're gonna need another brush out in there though. We've still got quite a bit of leaf in there. See, Vince comes along and that's fine. Oh no. Spotted a leaf. Not a leaf, there's fucking loads of it there. Yeah, it leaves good. Let's have a for the fry to hide. Got any air, they got air blowers at home. What tarmacers you yeah, should use them softly. Yeah, it's a good thought actually. Uh, you brush all the leaves off. I've got to go around and brush that and check for holes anyway because that's been empty. And just make sure we've fairly walked tight. Yeah. Right, I'm gasping for the brew. Nothing unusual there. How long are you staying, Tom? And make a day of it. Make a day of it, yeah. So this is Tom. This is This is to, to, Tom was the one who done the first course in the bottom of the Munger Tunnel, hasn't he? He got me he got me after I did the concrete which I thought was nice and level, he come in with a laser and said and that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he got the bottom course in for us, so we all we had to do was then just go up. So what do you reckon to our going up? Yeah, it went up the <laughs> It's <laughs> water, that's the main thing. That's, that's, that's the main thing. We'll stay in there. So yeah, we'll come back to you in a bit. Yeah, yeah oh, well, 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 there we go, it. ladies and gentlemen. Cups. Yeah, that's uh, first and that's us finished for well, today. So uh, we'll just have a little recap. For the baby yeah. We've put fish in that, that mud pond. We put nice. fish in the mud yeah. pond next to it, and they all yeah, came out yeah, just here. Time, Mixture of uh, Showa, Deutsch Showa, Sankey, Deutsch Sankey. Yeah, you can fish that from. So we, we've food. got. Anyway, let me spin you around a minute. So, yep, there you go. All these four tanks have been emptied now. You're talking. Kilos and kilos. Managed to uh, get all this area cleared for our we lesser do, spotted Ricardo. Sure. Got to get a mink trap in to go it's down there because we found a load of fish stacked up earlier. We went, we and we did them. Both Tim so and Sean have said there's no way that that's a rat. It'll have to be a mink, so they're going to have to get some traps out today. But got all this patched in. This is all patched in. Why? Because I'm taking him the drum. <laughs> and then once we empty them ones i'll be taking that one home so i can make one out of two yeah. so i will just walk up with uh, this one but yeah fishing here are still doing absolutely wonderful that's the ones we're going to be going through next week that one and that one And as far as the uh, the spawnings have gone, as far as the spawnings have gone, we've at the moment ten out of eleven spawnings have been successful. At the moment, the only one that hasn't been successful. Yeah, let me spin you around a minute. You spin me right around, baby, right around. <laughs> yeah, nine out of uh, ten of the spawnings have uh, been successful. Uh, no, ten out of the eleven, sorry. I'll get it right in a minute. 
the uh, the ones that haven't been is the Ginshiro series. So Ginshiro male with uh, normal Shiro female. Now those eggs are duff down there, but Rick says that mine are going to be duff at home. I'm hoping not. This one's been uh, swept and cleaned out today. We've been putting polytunnel hoops up over this one and it's going to be bleached. That one over there, that one's been scrubbed out today. And uh, Rick's just gone up with Matt and the Rocket Boy to go and net up Matt's fish. I've got one going home with me as well. Hopefully, that one will be coming to the National with me. Oh, look, they haven't locked down the Munger Tunnel. Let's go and check. Because the uh, Twisted Rocket Pond had its very first, uh, very first proper clean today. And then had all the water we lost replaced. Oh, they're looking good, Rick. Running absolutely beautifully. Oh yeah, that's definitely cleared up compared to what it was like. Didn't think so. Okay, that hasn't been locked. My tomatoes are doing absolutely awesome. I'm gonna get, oh, I'm pointing the fucking, hang on. Oh, fucking dickhead. So yeah. I'm going to have some strawberries on them soon. Tomatoes are growing like stink. That's been completely cleaned out. So has this. Pump is only running on 30%. This is chock-a-block with media now. These have definitely sorted themselves out now. So... There we go, that's what we want to see. And as you know, all apart from four of the fish that are in here have all been picked by myself and Rocket Boy. And when the end of the summer comes, we get to have our pick. Some will go back to the shop. And I'm chatting with our little spotted Ricardo to see if we can do an auction with some. This area's got to be backfilled at some point in time. But yeah, those filters were absolutely, Cloverleaf was absolutely minging. Absolutely minging. And I mean, it was minging. Absolutely minging, so uh, yeah, but all cleaned out now and running sweet. So, come next week when we come down, that pond should be, by all intents and purposes, be absolutely crystal clear, just like Ricardo's. So, yeah, anyway. I'm going to put you down and I'll pick you back when I get home. You want a, a sneak peek? Oh, 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 that's all you're seeing. <laughs> oh, my word. People. <laughs> well. Got to keep them interested, didn't you? You know, yeah. keep them keen. Does it treat me and keep them keen? Yeah. Well, there he goes. We're back home. We're here at Twisted Towers. I've just unbagged it. We've measured it. It's 25 and a half centimetres. It's done a scrape. Scrape's absolutely clear. And the hope is that we can get the sumi to come out in time 
for the National Poi Show. That's because this is an absolutely stunning Deutsch Sankey. Yes, I said Sankey. <laughs> so yeah, let me spin you around and we we'll, shall take a look. And if you've watched the live today, the second live today, second live was it first live? No, it would have been first live. You would have seen this coming out of one of the square ponds in the old shop. So, let me spin you around. Wow. Absolutely wow. The, the Shiroji, the Benny quality. I just need that, that Sumi to thicken up. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Let's see if we can do this one handy because I don't want the crap in the pond. one way of doing it. So yeah, well, that's where we're at. Skurogon is now in the pond. But there we go guys. One beautiful Deutz Sankey. So yeah, but for my job, I've got to get one and out and scrape them because they had their first PP treatment yesterday, as did these in here. And uh, they even eaten that little bit of food and that shower is still clamped so I'll be getting him out to give him a scrape but as you can see the tank is looking absolutely awesome we did lose a couple and after chatting with uh, our, our lesser spotted Ricardo today he has actually advised me to put some more fish in here so he's told me that I would do better bringing the numbers up to at least 50. But I won't be able to do that until both this tank and that tank out there are scraping clean with no issues. But as you can see, that shower down there is uh, clamped and hanging. And as is the, the little one there. So we will get on that toot sweet with the old uh, scraper ruse. That microscopes are already out, because like I said, we've, uh, we've uh, scraped out there. In fact, Where's my lid from? They can have that. That's got to come in here. Yes, yeah, so heat pumps going, but yeah, as you can see, there's still, still the odd one. That we hit Suri there. Calico, getting Matsuba, but overall not looking too bad, so I'll get the filter on the clean in a minute. This one I'm just about to do a scrape on, so uh, let me put down a second. Fish cam, uh, that's not going to work, is it? 
Soon fucking always went up, didn't he? Always well, the same. The little shit. Got ya. Sorry about that. Got some slime. Let me turn you around. There we go. Put you up there on the flamingo. Right, get this bit of slime. Not the slip. for water. Ooh, that's a good mucus scrape, isn't it? Hey, I must be getting good at this. <laughs> I will be back momentarily. Well, I got that boiling because it's going to get a second dose. So while that's boiling, check on this. Well, that doesn't look too bad, but we will give this one a clean switch pump or first rinse in your dickhead. We'll give this one a clean before it gets its second dose. Right, and let me spin you around. People say Easy Pods are shit. This was cleaned last night before I had the first dose. And that, at the moment, is running at 10,000 litres an hour. So yeah, tell me that's not collecting shit. Yeah, they're fucking good bits of kit. So yeah, right, that's on the boil. This one doesn't need a major boil. So we'll dump that one. Fun's working lovely and brilliant. was cleaned last night. And the old catch oily is working an absolute diamond. Really helps when you're doing a PP treatment because this one here is your ORP reading. And the highest I could get it yesterday was 400, no, it was 387. So, hoping we'll be able to get that closer to the 450 for longer. Now that most of the bio load is taken out. 
once I've given that a wash through I'll give that a boil and a drop and then we'll fill back up once I've got the PP in there and going so yeah I'm gonna put you down give this a bit of a sluice out but what I do first I we'll take the center pipe out and I pack flush from the bio chamber I'll get the hose in around there, it keeps that area all clean inside there. That's why I love having an isolation between the bio chamber and the easy pod. Because, especially when you're gravity feeding, because you can just back flush from your bio chamber into your easy pod, which then pushes all the shit out over the top of that ridge down there. Also, it also back flushes anything or any sediment that is left inside that pipe there. So yeah, there we go. That's that one. Done. Turn that one, turn that one round. Right, while well, we've got that one on there, so now we open that one. get that boiling which means I can now open that which then drops that considerably really could have got more media in that one but it's doing a dang good job I've just got to get the pipe work cooked up down there when I can get around to it. Right, I can open that one because that air pump is running. Perhaps we'll turn that on as well. So, in the meantime, a bit of flexi pipe. Empty. Job done. That is back and flowing. Put a bit of fleece back in there. That goes down there. That shut. I can lift that one there. That one's open, which is running there now yes pump pump on air off keep pump on skimmers off because of there don't need to turn that one on right so yeah there we go we are back up and running now we turn top off on shut that go up there, that can go back in front of there, chucking me around like I don't know what, hey, so yeah, we'll wait for that to uh, fill up while I go and get some PV sorted and then give that one a sluice. There at the moment. There ain't no wind, but turn that one on a 
as well. Top that one up a bit. Didn't think that one through, did I? I've got to get that bit sealed up down there, look. Yeah, they're doing all right. Well, that is me going to be in here now for the next three and a half hours or so, watching both this one and that one out there. Yesterday, I uh, I'm going to have to turn it around again. Oh, for fuck's sake! Some little bonsai, uh, bonsai pom pom trees. If anyone's interested, hook me up. But there we go. Look at the shit there. Right, so we. Push box drain. There we go, that gets rid of that gets rid of ninety percent of it. There we go. So we can open these valves back up. It's all good here, isn't it? And this is a I oh, even even had anything to eat yet, so we can turn that one off. Put me bits of sponge back in. Put me bits of sponges back in. Open that one. Shut that one. Open that one. Switch that on. There we go. Back up and uh, running. one off because this one in here should be done no nowhere near right anyway guys that is it done filters are done just got a top up i'm gonna be in here for the next few hours as always guys i've been twisted coy you out there you are always great what the hell we thursday today Ooh, we'll probably have a catch up on saturday see you later that's all cupcakes